I knew that 10 plus years of schooling was not going to make that reality for me as early as I wanted it to as well. And so then I discovered massage therapy and in BC, it's different. It's different in all the States down in the U S you guys all have different regulations, but in BC, it is a like intensive two and a half years, no summer break five days a week. Like it's an intensive program and you have to be regulated by the board. You have to go through government exams mm -hmm. afterwards and things. And so it, it's, it's quite the, quite the thing to become a part of. And I got to learn all about anatomy and physiology, which I already right. all loved. It was incredible. I enjoyed it a lot. And then when I was able to have a practice outside of that, I instantly was drawn to helping women and doing a lot of, like I said, pre and postnatal health, a lot right. of I, all the continuing education I did, I did around like joint manipulation in the pelvis and things like I loved all of that. But I quickly learned as I was stepping into other things that I can help one patient on the table an hour or I can speak to a room of hundreds of people and have them at least learn something about themselves. And so that became way more sexy very yeah, quickly. Yeah. And then I got a back injury that almost made it impossible for me to practice as well. So those two things came in simultaneously and it was like the universe being like, let's give this up. Yeah. It was hard. It was hard for me to give up those three little letters behind my name that made me feel very smart, made me feel like I had accomplished something. 